All right, thank you very much for being here. In this video, we will be looking at a case study of how we generated 227 leads of high net worth individuals in one week for a 37 million naira real estate property in Lagos. Now, here is a proof of our case study. You can see in the ad copy, we mentioned that it is priced between 37 million to 127 million naira, you know, the range of properties. And um, for a period of one week, we we're able to generate 227 leads. Now, apart from that, the frenzy was so much that some of these high net worth individuals started calling and chatting us up. For example, here, say, this one says, genuinely interested, wish to buy property very shortly, call chief engineer, so, so, so on dash, dash, dash. And um, this one said, interested in the estate, how far? And they will drop the number, exchange. He said, when can I call? And then he said, from 10 a.m., thanks. This one said, do you accept long-term payments? And yes, there's long-term payment and the appointment booked. Apart from that, the real estate agent we worked with was very excited too. And I, he said, I am receiving leads now. I said, please call immediately. The faster you call, the more the conversion rate. To book appointments, and I said, this, this seven days will be hectic. And he said, I suspected, and it was actually hectic because we have the flood of leads, 227 coming, and you have to call them within five minutes. And he was so excited. He said, thanks, boss. I'm enjoying this. And I said, the ball is in your court and your team's court. Follow up and closing skills. He, he promised we will make it count. And I said, if the leads are coming in faster than you can manage, then you may have to involve others. So the calls are made within five minutes of signing. Now let's do some mathematics. Now let's imagine the worst case scenario. Let's assume that this real estate agent has poor follow-up skills and poor closing skills so poor that in the 227 leads, he was able to close only one and not for a high end product like one, the 127 million naira uh, property, but for the 37 million naira property, just one out of the 227 leads of high net worth individuals that are willing and able that indicated interest in the property. So let's assume this sad case where only one sale out of the 227 leads was made for the 37 million naira property. Now, the ad budget and service fee was less than 50,000 naira. So, even in this worst case scenario, in this sad case of poor closing skills and poor follow-up skills, of only having one sale out of the 227 leads, we are still in business because you invested about 50,000 Naira and then you having um, a sale of 37 million Naira. Just <laughs> calculate the ROI, the return on investment. Now, my goal in this video is to help you achieve same for free because I will give you the breakdown of the entire campaign and the entire process so you can simply copy and implement. Now, a quick disclaimer here, I am not in any way inferring that you will get same results, no, because running ads and marketing is a highly technical skill and so results may vary. But then you may ask, why am I doing this? Why am I showing you all of my secrets and strategies? Well, let me be honest with you. I do this because I run a real estate marketing agency and this is how we get clients. So instead of me trying to convince you to work with me, I will actually show you how I can help you by actually helping you to grow your real estate business, giving you all the strategies for free, right? <laughs> so I hope that is clear. Now, by the way, I am Dr. Malik Haruna King and this is my lovely family on Facebook here. And when I am not in the hospital, I am helping real estate professionals like you to generate leads online and build a profitable, scalable real estate business and over the past two years we have spent over 500,000 naira at least for ad budget alone testing testing different strategies online to get the best practices 
for the Nigerian market and I'll be sharing with you one case study today of the entire funnel, right? So for example, this is one of our ad accounts and you can see how much we spent $1,327 for just Facebook ad account and then we have an account uh, with um, Google ads. So combined with all of this, we have spent at least 500,000 Naira ad budget testing with best strategy. Now, for the entire funnel, we use four steps. Now, the first step is strategy session with the real estate agent to design the campaign. Two main goals here. We want to know if we're a good fit, if we can work with the real estate agent. The second goal is to design the entire campaign funnel. And now, a very important aspect of designing the campaign funnel is to get a unique offer. The offer is what you are presenting to the people to make it very attractive and to stand out above every other offer, above every other property, above every other real estate agent, right? So that unique offer, we need to know the offer so that we can project it properly and get amazing results. So is it a crazy discount? Is it an amazing um, payment plan? Are there special features like location or is the offer some of the basic features like maybe the property has strong high appreciation potential the documents complete and legit are they free from interference from government from individuals from communities from families and then are there other bonuses maybe like ram or rice or buy four get one free or you're offering them some form of educational material like um, how to buy land or how to buy houses in lekki or stuff like that or you're just doing giving them a, a collection of some amazing offer in the form of listings. So based on all of these, based on the offer, we'll be able to know the best form of um, platform and the best form of ads to run. So is it Facebook ads or Google ads or YouTube ads or LinkedIn ads? And this will be based on the budget of the real estate agent, the type of nurturing system, because it depends on the follow-up system. Someone that doesn't have, that has little or no follow-up system will not be treated the same way as someone that has a robust drip campaign on email drip system sms drip system and stuff like that no or the stages or the type of leads are you do you want top of the funnel leads or or middle of funnel leads or bottom of the funnel leads depending on that for example if you want middle of the funnel leads we'll do google ads if you want top of the funnel leads we'll do facebook ads because it determines how long you will nurture the leads before you close them on average and your target client will determine the kind of ads we use now here are some um, working call booking ads where you just run the ads for them to call you or you to call them and then video ads are, ve are working very well content ads are also working very well where you do long form video or long form article and then you use pictures to convert them properly so these are the things we use for this campaign the second stage of the whole funnel is campaign targeting of high net worth individuals. Now, we don't want this ad or this offer to just come to, to every Tom, Dick and Harry. No, we want it to be shown. We're making our offer to only those who are willing and able to invest in real estate, right? So they are willing and they're able. So usually we, uh, we use database. So we get a, a database of emails and or phone numbers. Now we're not going to contact them directly, no. If that's the case, then it, no, it's nothing special. We're going to use the database and put on these platforms and ask the algorithm to give us people who are like those people in the database. And usually the database are people that have already bought properties before. So people that have already bought properties before are most likely willing and able, right? So we put, put this database on the platforms and ask the algorithm, like the Facebook algorithm, show us people that are like these people that are already buying uh, real estate, that have the money and they are willing, right? So if the client already, if the agent, the real estate agent already has past clients and they provide them, we'll use them. If not, we'll have to curate them and script them from platforms, from websites, from LinkedIn, Google. So we we'll search all around for CEOs, presidents, managers, directors, MDs, people who are able to pay. And then we'll tweak the ad to check if they are willing to pay and invest in real estate, right? So we do this, for example, the, the client we worked with in this case study already had about 210 lists of high net worth individuals 
both their emails and phone numbers. We didn't contact them directly. That is not the strategy. We only uploaded it to the platforms and asked that the algorithm, which is very intelligent, using different touch points to be able to give us hundreds of thousands of people that are like this, high net worth and willing and able to pay. We also targeted by location. There are some big places in Lagos. So people who are living in Banala Island, in Lekki, in Victoria Island, and all those big places to increase the potential and the propensity of our ads to be only shown to people who have the money to pay, right? <laughs> and apart from that, we also targeted people who work in the biggest of companies in Nigeria, right? So apart from that also, we also check people who visit a certain website looking to buy property. Certain websites in Nigeria, people who visited that site with the intention to buy are also targeted. So this way we are filtering the people who are willing and able to be able to get high net worth individuals. And we created the audience and we expanded the audience to get lookalike audience. So we have several audience. Look at this one is 1.8 million. This is 6.4 million. And then this one is in hundreds of thousands. And so we have a rich database of people who have the money to pay. So, and then we did interest-based keywords like real estate, people who search online, like real estate, property, mortgage, investment, people who search these things, we also targeted them based on those keywords. And here are examples of some of the keywords here. So apart from that, we also use financial in income because the Facebook algorithm and the Google algorithm knows how to predict, you know, the range of income of individuals that use the platform based on the activity on the platform and outside the platform. So we targeted those uh, high income and then based on phone software version because um, crudely, the kind of phone you use, you know, determines uh, your status. So if you're... The, the software you are using is very low, then we definitely know that the phone is of a low uh, price. And so we targeted those that are using expensive phones based on the version um, number, right? So apart from that, we did retargeting. So after we showed the ads to these high network people, those that don't commit, we retargeted them. You know, we use content ads and pixels and video views, post engagement and stuff like that. These are quite technical, but then if you can understand them, that's what we did. We excluded people we don't want to see. We don't want uh, people that will not buy. So because um, realtors will not buy, other realtors, other real estate agents, brokers, consultants, mortgage agents, you know, and then people that have already signed up as leads, we excluded them for next so that we don't recycle the same persons no so if you have already become a lead or you have already become a client and you have bought you you will collect the leads and we exclude you so you we don't target you again and there are different uh, form of lead generation we could use landing pages click funnels uh, messenger bots many chats and then uh, whatsapp but in this uh, case study in this campaign we actually use lead forms and lead ads based on the budget of the uh, real estate agent based on the type of um, leads he wanted and then based on his target audience the third stage is ad copy and ad creative ad copy is like the caption that follows the ad ad creative is like the image of video that follows the ad so what we did was uh, we tested, we split tested and we have different uh, copies. We use videos, we use carousel, we use slideshows, we use images. We have different forms, 11 ads here and tested them so that we have a wide range of results. We'll scale those are work that are working and we'll kill those ads that are not working. And that's how we did it. Now, how did we write the caption? We first called out so that as people are scrolling and you see the first line is you are called out and you fall in that uh, range or the people we are targeting, it will catch your attention. So we called out. We said, attention Lagos or high investors and stuff. So we hear, for example, we say attention Lagos. We use emojis a lot. The next step is immediately we capture attention by calling you out we state a magnetic fact or ask a question or state a problem or state a pain point or a pleasure point to further grab the attention of the person so he said attention Lagos according to Forbes 220 billionaires have been made have been created in real estate wow that's interesting right so 
The next thing is a call to action, which is like click learn more below to follow. And they will make sure that our click learn more below is above the fold so that you don't have to click or see more or view more to be able to take an action for, <laughs> for some quote unquote lazy ones, right? And then and a personal introduction because people like relating with people and then to personalize the brand. So we said, hi, I am Dash Dash Dash, a premier realtor and I help smart investors find happiness through uh, luxury. So this is just a personalized aspect. It's personalized touch to the ad, very powerful. So apart from that, we give semi details about the property, not full details, because if you give full details, some persons will see those details and look for someone else to work with. No, we give you details enough to stimulate inquisition to make you want to work with us, right? So we state the price and to also qualify to chase out tire kickers and people that are not able and willing to pay. So we mention the price categorically and then we mention the, uh, the time that e.g. less than three months, people are ready to buy less than three months to also chase away, away people that are not willing and able mention a general location without the exact name of the property and so for example we say we have researched and verified a list of houses of sale price between 37 million and 127 million era so those people that can't afford that and then we even mentioned that um in the next three months people that can't afford that will automatically be chased away and then you can use a community page where you just have a, a facebook page that says um, something like community maybe abuja lands abuja houses or you can use the realtor's own personal page you can split test but for the sake of this ad we actually used a community page and they are creatives so we use videos and carousels and images um, to have this touch that this property is expensive and that way we also chase away people that can't afford or that are not willing so the videos are educational like this one um, the videos are also like showing of the property and then we did um, a pick mix of um, different aspects of um of a property this is actually a generic property it may or may not be related to the property you want to sell but it should be in the price range to give people an idea so make it into pick mix and then convert it into one photo now these are based on best practices things that are working that we have tested right okay the fourth um aspect is leads collection leads qualification leads follow-up and lead closing now the ad is made to run during work hours so when we want to work with a real estate agent we ask what time are you do you work in a day how many hours what was the time range so that we run the ads during those time when you will be available and in the right mindset to work so apart from that we connected with the software zapier alert that immediately someone signs up as a lead indicating interest in your property you receive an sms alert and an email alert so you call the person immediately so this is zapier and then leads are called within five minutes the fact the quicker the faster you call the leads the higher the rate of conversion of the leads so you have the alert coming in an sms and the email and then with the instruction over and over and over please call this client within five minutes or as soon as possible thanks when the agent calls the the client it this is a no zero pressure chat you know that's the problem with many real estate they are so pain they are so apprehensive they're they so restless when they make this call but it's it's not it's more like an interview you're interviewing the person to know if you're a good fit and to book an appointment simple there's not a sales pitch you're not selling to the person right so you are going to say if see if you're a good fit and then fix a physical appointment for 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 showing or for inspection and so you just qualify the person you verify and you classify into buckets using a spreadsheet right so you ask the person i discovered that i i i, I see that you indicated interest in our property Okay, so um, what type property type are you interested in? Land or house? Residential or commercial? What is your budget? When are you willing to buy? So is it now? In less than three months? In six months? Now? What location? Do you have any location in mind? So now you classify each of the, the leads into different aspects. Like we have the date added, the first name, the last name, email, phone number, last touch, when last you contacted the person, notes, if there are objections, remarks, if there are uh, excuses or complaints, you note them, the city of residence, the budgets of the person, the type of land or property they want, is it land, house, both or none, 
preferred property location, if you want specific location and the type of lead is a top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel, and estimated purchase time. When is the person in, in, interested in buying? So it's simple an interview to fill this form so that you know how to follow up. You follow up based on the classification, follow up on WhatsApp, on email, on phone calls, SMS, but manually or automatically using drip campaign. And so you could have messages that are going up in day one immediately, day two, day four, day seven. You have email going day one, day two, day 30, and so on and then you follow up based on the classification now for free now for free i am happy to help look at your current real estate business and show you exactly the best offer the best strategy the best funnel the best lead generation method the best follow-up structure the best conversion methods that you can use for free so you will be able to avoid sales drought and have an always filled pipeline of leads and prospects and be always prospecting always closing and always making sales by helping you set up a system to generate leads for you constantly and almost on autopilot so you own is simply to book appointments and close them right so again, I'm doing this for free. I am not trying to sell you anything here. In fact, you have zero obligations to work with me. No pressures. In fact, if after our free strategy session, you feel I've wasted your time, I will immediately send you 100 unique, high quality real estate leads of high net worth individuals for free. As a way of saying sorry for wasting your time. Yes, that's how confident I am in the value I will be able to offer you in this free strategy session. But wait a minute, before you go any further, you need to know that I can't help everybody because I work with only a small team and we cannot work with more than 10 clients at a time because we offer high value. So hurry, hurry now to see if you qualify for this free strategy session and here is what to do next. If you want to schedule a strategy session with me, simply click the link below this video or somewhere around this video. And when you click, you will see a form with questions to help us prepare for our chat and to also help us book your appointment. Again, thanks for your time and I will talk to you soon.